Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another general love reading. Since it is the full moon energy outside, I'm pulling your energy to find out what are the hidden things that you do not see coming. What are the things that are taking place in the spiritual realm that you can that you do not see in the physical realm? So this is to serve for your highest good, to bring you a level of peace and comfort, something that you may need to work on, something that may inspire you, motivate you for your highest good. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they're not going to resonate for everybody. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios? What does Scorpio not see? What is it that Scorpio doesn't see? That Scorpio may not know, be made aware of because of doubt. Some things you may not be seeing correctly because of doubt. Six of Swords. Somebody is not able to let go of a situation. Somebody is not able to make peace. Oof. Somebody is feeling like it's a missed opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Could have been a situation here where something could have been great. So it could be you. You could be um, having a hard time letting go of a situation or the person that you were involved with. Ten of Wands, it is a very difficult. It is a burden to somebody's spirit. But they're not able to move on with the Six of Swords in the reverse. So it is a missed opportunity ace of pentacles a very big missed opportunity do you have judgment in the reverse so somebody could be receiving karma here to bent to balance things out temperance for some of you guys it's about your dad with the emperor It could be that your dad, you and your dad may have had some type of strife or some type of indifferences here, but I know it's about love. So so for some of you guys, your emperor is receiving karma right now to wait to balance the scales or to bring harmony back into the situation here. I feel like somebody's karma is that they're not able to move on from this situation here. Eight of Wands. Somebody's trying to calm their soul within, but I feel like it's hard. I feel like somebody is making it harder on themselves by not by not answering the call, by not awakening, by not changing. So as a result, somebody is missing out on something. Now, you may not know that this person is thinking about you a lot. Some of you guys may not know that the person that you're in separation with cannot move on from this connection. Somebody is being faced with uh, somebody's being being faced with difficult choices right now because they cannot move on, but they don't want to man up. It's almost like somebody is very very stubborn. Somebody may feel entitled. Somebody may have a, a lot of good success, so therefore they're not easily impressed. And so this is one of those situations that, it, that somebody is being um, challenged, but on a spiritual level. And they can't fight it. They cannot buy it. They have to face it here. But I feel like somebody doesn't want to face it. So this is why someone is not able to have peace in their life here. All right, the Six of Swords in the reverse for what Scorpio doesn't see. What's going on with the Six of Swords in the reverse? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Why is the Six of Swords in the reverse here for Scorpios? Uh, what Scorpio does not see coming or what the Scorpio does not see. Six of Swords in the reverse. What's up the Six of Swords? Three of Swords. See? So what you don't know is that they, they are hurt. They're hurt. Somebody is holding on to you because they go to Six of Cups. See? Three of Swords. Four of Pentacles. 
Six of Swords, they're not move, able to move on. See? Six of Cups in the reverse. The Magician and the Two of Cups. Ooh. For some of y'all, this person is manifesting you. Because they can they don't understand, and then they maybe they do. They don't understand that they're manifesting you because you're all that they think about. But it's 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 like they're not. I'm not saying that they're yearning for you and all those things, but their mind is on you. So if their mind is on you, they're not able to move on away from it. That is a form of manifesting. But they may be manifesting the negative of the outcome. Why is the three of cups in the reverse for Scorpios and what they don't see? What's up, this three of cups? This person could. Um, Somebody may have put off dating. Somebody may be turning down offers because they're staying to themselves or because they don't have a mind right. Why is the three of cups in the reverse? There's no happiness in somebody. I feel like somebody's not in the uh, in the uh somebody's not in the holiday spirit. <laughs> so it's almost like somebody is somebody feel like they somebody's having a rough holiday season. See the star card in the reverse. Somebody, somebody may have been waiting to get back with you this holiday season. And if they ain't got back with you, it's stressing them out. See, nine of swords. I told you it's about the moon. Didn't I tell you they howling at the moon? Didn't I tell you they howling at the moon? That's in my other reading. That's in the collective reading. They're howling at the moon. They're howling at the moon. And I'll tell you why again. And I'm happy this came up in your reading. The reason why they're howling at the moon, at the uh, in this full moon energy is because some of these masculines are self-absorbed. They, they are self-righteous and they ain't, they don't even deserve to be on no emperor throne because they're not doing emperor. They're not handling themselves. So things are being exposed where they're not able to brush it off. They can't compromise it any way with when judgment is here. They, they, they have, it's like, when judge is in an upright, you get the opportunity to make your own decision about a situation. You're not dodging it. But in the judgment, in the reverse, the decision is made for you, I feel like. And so as a result, someone is howling at the moon because their spirit is agitated because somebody's being uprooted. But it's a change because I feel like a lot of people are wearing masks. They ain't real, no, no real emperors or they acting like it, but they really ain't. So, yeah, it's affecting this person now because it's the full moon. Somebody, somebody is losing hope because they're not healing. Somebody, see, like I said, somebody probably thought that y'all going to be kicking it. They said that y'all going to be reconciling. Y'all going to just take it on back to like things used to be. But it's not happening here. I don't feel like it's happening here. So I feel like somebody's losing hope. Mm. Why is the uh, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio does not see? Ace of Pentacles. The lovers. A missed opportunity here. So this person is maybe realizing that it is a missed opportunity with you. Could be a Gemini. Two of Swords. Somebody is seeing things now. Somebody's Somebody is seeing it after the fact. So somebody may be realizing that you're the one for them after the fact. So it's almost like somebody here is pouting. You can't, you can't have your way. You have to do something a certain type of way and they don't like it. It's almost like the fire has been raised upon them spiritually and they're forced to face this moon energy and because they have all this contempt in them, they are howling at the moon. Now, whether this is an energetic howl, you know, you know how you have that beast rising up in you and you just want to just, just spill it out. It's almost like this because somebody, somebody can't, they can't, they can't move left or right. They cannot go up or down. They just have to sit there and deal with something. And they're about, they're about to go insane because it is dry, it is dry, driving them because it is a spiritual thing and they can't control it. Why well, is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? So in hindsight, somebody's realizing that you are a missed opportunity because you are somebody that they should have offered 
something to. All right, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. What Scorpio don't see coming? But this person can't move on away from you. See, King of Swords in the reverse. See, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Now they're getting it. They're getting it and they can't do nothing about it. I feel like this is what it is. Somebody's having a temper tantrum because they have been defeated. It's almost like somebody really has been defeated and they don't, and, and they're finally realizing it because you got all these opportunities. So you may have had a, had an opportunity in love, an opportunity of building something real, but somebody didn't get it. And it's almost like somebody is, is kicking themselves, hitting the air, punching the air. Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for what Scorpio don't see coming? Ten of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. With that Three of Swords energy, they can't let go of what they feel. See? Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the reverse. See there? So I feel like somebody wants to let go. Move. See? See there? Now look at here. Now see this? It's almost like somebody is somebody is being forced to go through it. It is a burden to them because maybe they didn't get this this real relationship with you or maybe they added a burden to you, but they're going to come back in with some type of offer, page of pentacles, or this is what they're thinking and look they go to ace of pentacles in the up right now. See? Now, it could be a burden on them because maybe they're going to see you move on with something new. The same thing that they didn't give you, they may see you get it somewhere else. So that could be part of two. What you don't see, come, what you don't see is that it's almost like, don't you get caught up on what you think that you lost? Yeah, you may have not gotten it with that person, but maybe this person don't deserve you. For somebody, some Scorpio, this person may not deserve you right now. But Spirit is letting you know that you did not lose anything because you're going to get a new beginning anyway. Whether it's with this person or somebody new. The temperance. What does Scorpio not see coming with this temperance? Sagittarius energy. Clarify the temperance. I told you this person was trying to act like an emperor. Maybe they done made some changes because you know the king of swords ain't no emperor here. See, temperance. Ten of swords here. Oof. So, like, I feel like this person is 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 feeling everything that maybe they have made you feel because of this full moon energy. Like I say, they can no longer contain themselves. They howling at the moon. This person ain't sleeping. Nine of swords, the moon card here. The star card in the reverse. Now you got the tempers in the uh, ten of swords. So there's a need to keep control. Somebody's trying not to change, all right? <laughs> they not they trying so hard not to change, but at the same time it's almost like the, the it's like it's so intense that something is going to happen. They're going to have to do something one way or the other. And there go the world card here. See, this is hard for somebody to change, see? And there is the judgment in the upright, see? I feel like even though somebody thought that they were avoiding it and, and, and not wanting change, it's going to happen anyway. Because there go the world card. With the Ten of Swords, something has to go on. But like I say, somebody don't want to move on because this is their choice. But they're going to experience stagnation. And this is why your person is missing opportunities because they don't want to change. So then there is judgment here. See? So in other words, if you don't, if you keep resisting change, judgment is on you anyway. You just hoping that it's good and somebody may have not gotten it so good. Now, why is this judgment in the reverse for what Scorpio don't see? What if I judgment? This is part of their karma because they're howling at the moon. They're not getting any sleep. They're looking weird. Uh, they're agitated here. They're being vexed. It's almost like they got vex, vexing spirits on them. See, Knight of Wands. See, this is why they're they judging themselves and receiving karma because this is probably all they were given. Knight of Wands energy, but they're trying to act like they this or maybe they have grown into this. All right, judgment for Scorpio. Don't see and see the fool. I feel like this person was very, very foolish. This person was acting dumb and naive. 
They wasn't really taking life serious, nor were they taking your emotions serious either. See there? And that's why all, and see, and, and, and that's why it is like it is. See? So this person's actions is bringing karma back on them by how they behave. Somebody just, somebody was just careless here. See? And there's the death card. See? Scorpio energy. See? See, all of that stopped that real quick. Now they go that burden on them again. See there? Because somebody, somebody is burdened. See, every time, see, I tell you, when I tell you this is somebody here who don't want to change or it's hard for them to change because they are stubborn. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So it's almost like Spirit is telling your person, look, now you can have it, but you can't have it the way you want it. There's rules to life. You don't get to do what you want to do where it's only you that's going to benefit. So Spirit is showing somebody, and it's a burden to them. I'm telling you, see, they didn't want this long-term relationship here. That was a burden here. It was too much. And here it is with the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Steady trying to block this. But anyway, go if they really want you. I feel like what Spirit's saying, look, I, I see you. Yeah, I know you're bad in, in your domain, but in life, you're going to have to come in with something. You got to come with something. You can't just get Scorpio for nothing. Ooh, Scorpio, this is why you put an end to it. And like I say, they haven't been able to move on away from you. Their person's howling at the moon. They're going through all types of emotions and all different changes here. But this is for them to grow up. This is for them also. It's because these are the seeds that they have planted in deception. It was deception here. Somebody thought that they was all that. You got the king of swords. So this was kind of like a narcissist. A person probably thought, they, thought that they knew it all. They took a leap of faith on passion, but they didn't take a leap of faith towards something that was real. So what's up with this emperor for Scorpio? Well, Scorpio don't see what the Scorpio doesn't see. Aries. Got Scorpio, Aries. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Pisces, Aquarius. You got it all. The emperor for Scorpios. Five of ones. See? So he is stubborn, stubborn self. Oh, emperor stubborn as hell, but this is why they're going through what they're going through. See, I told you. I told you this person's getting karma, see? Because you got that judgment in the reverse here. So like I say, it's, it's hurting them because I feel like y'all free. I feel like even though some of y'all may have wanted to be with this person, but it, this person was too... It's like this person is angry with the universe because they didn't have their way, okay? That's what I get. But it's almost like, who the hell are you? Some somebody somebody is angry that that you got away. It seems like, and they're even angrier that they know that if they want you back, then they're gonna have to change. If they don't want to be made to change for nobody, it's what I'm getting. So spirit is saying, fine, but you don't get Scorpio unless you change or unless you do A, B, and C. So until then, this person's been having inner conflict because they don't want to deal with all of these things that's taking place in their life with that justice card. Ooh, Scorpio, I tell you, this person is something here. What's up with this emperor? This is what you don't see, this person here. This is your person, whoever this person is. Mad. This person mad because they can't do what they want to do the way they want to do. They can't treat you like they want to treat you. They can't get what they want to get. They have to play by some type of rules because they don't. They no longer have control. They no longer have the power anymore over this situation because I feel like you gone. See, Seven of Pentacles. And now they're taking stock of everything. Now they're having to look at everything for what it really is. Six of swords, and they don't like what they see. See? 
because you got the six of swords right here in the reverse. I feel like somebody here was somebody's gonna start off probably when you first left this person. This person probably was trying to play victim and blaming you and acting haughty and acting like ain't no fault in them and acting like they perfect because they sit here as an emperor, but really they ain't handling things right because they in the king of swords in the reverse. No, so this person was toxic. They were toxic, but they want to blame you. So behind the scenes, spirit is whooping their ass, but really spirit ain't got to do nothing. Everybody, whatever you say, do, think, anything that you, um, your energy is constantly, constantly being judged. You're constantly planting seeds. And this is just somebody's time to, to be humble and to uh, come off of their high horse so that they can realize that they're not un untouchable. Uh, everybody, everybody, it, it, look, it, it's, it's going to rain on everybody sometime. This person could have felt like they had it all. Well, you got the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here for what Scorpio don't see? Eight of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, fast moving energy, travel, communication here. Why is the eight of wands here? Four cups. Huh? See how they looking now? Yeah, they feeling miserable now. Look at them. Somebody may try to call you out the clear blue because if they don't, they already know. See, and they go to tower. Once again, I feel like somebody going to surprise you. Because this person, I feel like somebody's realizing that they, they shit do stink and that ain't nobody got to chase after them. They ain't nobody special, especially if they toxic. Somebody's realizing that you don't have to be with them. And you don't have to accept them as they are when they ain't doing right. Could be a Leo. See, somebody here is trying to build the courage. But once again, they mad that they ain't got you, but they too wimpy fired to try to get you back. See, that they scared you're going to reject them anyway. So somebody may be afraid to reach out to you, even though you're all they think of. I feel like this person is like, damn, if I do, damn, if I don't. I'm scared if I reach out, I'm going to get rejected. But at the same time, how dare you? It's some type of in indignation here. Indignation is what I'm hearing here. Seven of cups. Five of cups. See? And this person has been watching you. See there? Now they in their feelings. See there? This is part of their karma too. See there? Page of swords and the king of cups. See how they watching you all in love now? All in their feelings now. See there? See, it hits, different. it hits different when your emotions is involved. But the only time they're going to get, see, this is once again, it's part of their karma with that justice and the judgment. They're not going to feel shit. This is why this person could not give a shit in this King of Swords in the reverse. But if they uh, being hit by karma and now they're in their feelings in the King of Cups, oh, it's going to hit differently then. And this is what it is. This is what's happening behind the scenes. They thought that they could fight. Somebody thought they could fight spirit is what I feel like. Somebody thought that they were tough. Somebody may have been so successful in life that they thought they was untouchable on every area, including spiritual growth. But they realize that there are no uh, competition when it comes to love. Because I feel like love and won this person out, but they too big of a chump to admit it. Six of Cups for what Scorpio don't see. Why is the Six of Cups here? <laughs> Magician, now look at their asses. Got the nerve to be manifesting you. You know they is because they watching you. Now you know good and god dang well they manifesting you because they can't keep their eyes out for you. Probably running, walking, passing by your house. Passing by your job and things. See? Ooh, now look at here. To a ghost. So what y'all don't see coming out after all this inner fight that your person been doing Seems like love going to end up winning anyway. Because see this person imbalanced here. See this person been trying to avoid the truth. See, because they go to seven of swords. Look at all them swords. Temperance, ace of swords, and the seven of swords. Somebody has been trying to keep from really opening up. It's almost like somebody mad at you because they fell in love. That's what it seems like. What you don't see is that this person is actually mad at you because they fell in love. Ain't that some shit? But that's what it is. They're mad at you because they fell in love. Look, they go to devil card. See? Now they know that if they want you back, they got to come back and do right with the six of pentacles because they know that you are not playing. You're illuminated. 
And you got that spiritual power backing you up with this sun card and this tower card. God dang it. They already know that something about you don't play. Now here they is going to come back to you feeling defeated with the five of swords. Because once again, karma is being served with this will of fortune, Scorpios. Ooh, you win. All right, Scorpio, this is what you don't see coming, huh? or this is what you don't know about your person, Scorpio. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.